started snowing about two hours ago and we probably got about two inches on the ground right now as it is snowing pretty good um, just locked the chickens up for the night it's about five o'clock so we're gonna head inside hunker down for the night Ooh update after last night check out all the snow we got five or six inches not too too much um, a pretty light fluffy snow with a layer of sleet over top of it you'll notice the driveway is not snow blown yet and there's a reason for that if you come down here you'll see that there's a solid layer of ice under the snow and I made two passes down the driveway to blow snow and then trying to come back up the tractor just won't do it uh, even with the differentials locked and four-wheel drive it won't make it up this ice it's just sliding so we're gonna hop in the truck we're gonna take a trip down the chapel tractor and we are going to get some change for this thing so I can clean off the driveway uh, yeah so I'll pick it up on the road so let me try to convey just how slippery the driveway is that the tractor can't make it up in. While I was walking down to the tractor in that last clip to show you where it was stuck, I actually slipped and fell. I don't claim to be the most graceful of people out there. However, when it comes to ice, I'm usually pretty good and I'm not gonna fault the snow blower at all for the driveway still being icy. Because of all the crazy weather we've been having, it snows and then it rains and then it gets hot and then it freezes solid and then it snows again. The driveway's really just been taking a beating. It hasn't had the chance to stay frozen long enough where I can really drop the snowblower all the way to the ground and get all that snow off. To top it all off, the driveway's pretty rutted out. So whenever the snow does melt, all the water tends to run right down the driveway and eventually it freezes into what we have now. It's not the end of the world, both Jackie and I have four-wheel drive cars, so we can get up and down it just fine. Um, but in a situation where I'm trying to push snow with the snowblower, it makes it a little bit tricky for the tractor, which is why we are going to go get chains. <music> We're on our way back from Chapel Tractor, but I just had to pull over and give this quick little aside. If you guys buy Mylar balloons, just make sure you dispose of them properly. Don't let them up into the air because then they end up in the woods like that. So here's what we're working with. So there's actually a spot under my truck where it's bare dirt, so I'm gonna try and pull the tractor up here and see if we can put them on there. Actually, I didn't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but Jackie's at work, so I can just use her side of the garage. So we'll just get the tractor backed up and then lay the chains out. So they're on and I finished up the driveway. Um, this one went on fine. Uh, no problems at all on the right side. Everything matched up relatively perfect. And it was a little bit tricky and a little bit tight in there, as you can see. But everything went on relatively no problem. The left side, on the other hand, is on there. But as you can see, it's really loose on the outside. And it's hard to see. But it's where it's supposed to be on the inside. So... I threw a bungee on there and it's holding just fine for now. Um, I may want to play with it a little bit after the chain breaks in. 
they definitely worked well um, but it's almost like the one on the left is a little bit bigger so for now we're all set everything's working as it should i'm gonna put the tractor away and take care of the rest of the errands that i have to do today i don't know if you guys can see but it's snowing again this looks like it's one of those days where it's just gonna snow all day long so the chains were one piece of equipment that we picked up for the homestead today that we weren't planning on getting. So we're headed back out. There's one more thing we're doing today, and it's a little surprise. I'm actually really excited about the piece of equipment we're going to pick up right now. Not only is it gonna be a really fun project for Jackie and I, but it's gonna increase our self-sufficiency on the homestead. We're not a bunch of doomsday preppers or anything, but the more we can do for ourselves at home, the better it's gonna be in the long run. I found the piece of gear we're going to pick up on Craigslist. I asked the person we're buying it from how they felt about being on camera, and they asked not to. So I'm not gonna film when we pick it up, but after we check everything out and pay for it, I'll show it to you guys on camera. Ta-da. So if you don't know what this is, this is an egg incubator. I mentioned in the video about getting rid of Henry that we were going to be incubating some of his eggs to carry on that dark uh, chocolate egg layer gene. So the brand name on this particular one is a hover baiter. It's got this disc thermostat on the inside, which is supposed to be pretty consistent. Uh, it does need a little work. It's missing a screw on that fan there, so it just kind of flops around. So it's a little floppy. But I got it pretty cheap on Craigslist, and it'll be great for hatching eggs once we do that little bit of work to it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be putting eggs in the incubator sometime this weekend, so we'll have a video on that. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below. Leave a comment if you want. Let us know what you want to see in the future for videos. As always, thanks for watching.